This rivalry game started with a Blake Corum touchdown plunge, and the onslaught really never stopped. J.J. McCarthy said that Jim Harbaugh told them at halftime, leave no doubt. Gina, we saw this team come in here with an aggressive plan after a lot of noise this week and really leave no doubt who is the king right now in this rivalry that is ever changing hands. And it was obvious right from the get-go, like you said, this week with the new allegations surrounding Michigan football with the NCAA investigation, the noise and the distractions around this program. But when you are good in college football, the eyes are on you and the attention is on you. And you could tell here today in East Lansing, really their biggest test, considering what this rivalry means to this team, right from the beginning they were focused and remained their goals remained intact on the field. Take a look at how it went down today. J.J. McCarthy yeah. and the Wolverines started 7 of 8 on third down. Anytime the Spartans had Michigan in a hole on third down, you could hear the air fall out of this building. And then soon, you started to see people leave the building. McCarthy connecting for four touchdowns, Gina, before the third quarter was even over. He exited the game, did not play in the fourth quarter. Here's what Jim Harbaugh had to say after the win. Our guys uh, really <clears throat> had a single mind set of uh, of uh, getting prepared, beating state. That was, um, I mean, pretty much if anybody around the building wanted to talk about anything else, I mean, they didn't want to. They wanted to just talk about uh, the game, the preparation, the practice, and, and uh, get ready to play and execute. The, and I thought they played their best. I had a little saying around here that uh, says, what you do speak so loudly, we can't even hear what you're saying. So I, I thought our guys did a tremendous job of taking it one play at a time, and they were real buzzsaw. They didn't want to talk about anything else before the game, but after the game, all anyone is now talking about is J.J. McCarthy because he was as solid as you can be as a quarterback. 21 of 27, 287 yards, those four touchdowns. Again, not even playing a full three quarters. His teammates talked in the offseason and really told me, around Kirk Campbell in this offense, you were going to see J.J. air it out a ton. And a lot of people have talked, like Todd Blackler did on the broadcast today, maybe his Heisman candidacy, the numbers, the NFL draft potential, the eyes of the nation regarding this team as a pass-heavy team. It really wasn't there the last two seasons. That is changing. Colston Loveland, the tight end play today. A.J. Barner. Gina, Roman Wilson has 10 touchdowns already this season. It's incredible what this passing attack has done. And going into a new season after the way it ended last year, the big question was, can they have that type of offense with J.J. McCarthy? Yeah. And I think the thing that is most impressive is that he's not just completing these passes, easy passes or big plays. <laughs> he is throwing it into defenders, contested catches, bullets, dimes, like the one we saw with yeah. uh, Loveland's second touchdown. It was impressive, and I spoke with Love Loveland right after they were running around with Paul Bunyan and asked him just what it was like to be on the receiving end of someone who is playing so well as J.J. McCarthy is this season. Yeah, I mean, he, he puts it where it needs to be every time, and uh, yeah, shout out to that guy. We wouldn't want anyone else playing quarterback. Dominating win against your rival with some big games ahead and big aspirations as well. What does this win on the road today say about this team? Yeah, I mean, you know, we expected to win, and we, 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 we knew what we had to do, uh, so we came in here, got the job done, but like you said, you know, we got, we got bigger goals, and we, gotta, we just got to keep winning. What this offense did, A.J. Barner having a career day, we saw what the Indiana transfer did against his former team a week ago. Really the way they've distributed the ball, Donovan Edwards got involved early, but he really hasn't even tapped into his full potential. This team is dangerous. When you beat a team like this, with everything Michigan State is going through, you still, like you said earlier in the show, never know what a rival will bring to the table. When you beat someone 49-0 and you remain undefeated, this team continues to make statements about the opponents they're playing up against. The Blake Corn before the game said after this one, it's the bye week, that they were going to leave it yes. all out on the field. 49 points shutting out Michigan State in their home, uh, I think makes a statement leaving it out on the field, and now they have their biggest games ahead of them. Yeah, looking forward to seeing what's next for this team, Brett.